Let's do our warm ups in mountain pose. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, knees going toward your second toe, sitting bones toward the floor, shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment to breathe, get the core activated with the ribs toward the spine and lengthening up through the crown. And spread your toes out. Take a moment just breathing, focusing inward, drawing in energy and awareness. Exhale, stress and tension. And then on an inhalation, bring your arms to shoulder level, keeping your shoulders down. Don't touch them up, keep them down. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows slightly back to keep your chest open. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down, and then hands clasp behind you. Press them to the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head all the way back. Don't lift your chin too high. And then pivot at your hips, coming all the way over as deeply as you need. Lift your sitting bones for a back of the leg stretch. Move your chin around, release your neck. Don't forget to breathe. Hands toward your head, get those shoulders working. Bend your knees a little, slowly work your way up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top. And push your head slightly back, but don't lift your chin too high. Take a few breaths there, chest up, shoulders down and spine stretching open. And then inhaling, come upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling a little more circulation through your body. And once more, inhale the arms to shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and exhale behind. Clasp the fingers the opposite way, fingers shifting one position over. And again, lift into the back, bend and stretch, and then exhale, pivoting over. Deepen as far as this time you'd like to go, lift and relax that top of the head down toward the floor. Take a breath, exhale, relax. And then again, knees slightly bent, ribs up and sitting bones down, come all the way back up and lift your heart. Shoulders down and chest high and head back. Stretch it out through the neck especially. Inhale upright, release your arms. And take a moment just observing how your body responds each time. Side of the body stretch this time on that lateral spine move. So let's bring shoulders down. Keep one hand at your side and the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean to the side, get the ribs opening. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Feel that stretch all along the side and the contraction on the side you're leaning toward. Make sure you're not leaning forward and just reach out through your fingers and head. Inhale back to the top, exhale that side down. Shoulders back and down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch it out, stay facing the front with your hips and shoulders as you lean to the other side. And again, just stretch through the ribs, pushing the foot down and the hand away. Take a few breaths there, just maximizing whatever's working for you. And again, inhaling, come up and release. Feel the sides a little more open, shoulders back and down, spine stretching apart for our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Arms next to your ears, toes spreading, everything straight, stretch that spine apart, and exhale through to the side. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come over in the twist. See if you can keep the weight on both feet evenly. Spread your toes out. Keep your arms next to your ears. Lift your sitting bones. Feel the whole body stretch. Keep breathing. And then on an inhalation, come on up in the twist all the way into the upper body back. And remember, always gentle on your low back whenever you're twisted. Elbows back, shoulders down, chest high. Take a moment and lengthen. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around, balancing your body. 
And again, arms by your ears and everything stretched open, twisting on the exhale to the other side. A breath again in, and exhale over. Deepen as far as you want on this side. See if the weight is still on both feet as evenly as you can. Take a moment and breathe. Check your arms. Are they by your ears? And then keep them there as you come all the way up. Chest high, elbows back, shoulders down, and head reaching away. Upper body back then, just deepening as much as your body wants. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center. Arms stretching toward the ceiling into extended mountain. Evenly into your feet, shoulders down, and crown high. Take a moment and breathe. And let's swan dive. So turn your palms out at shoulder level, pivot at your hips, everything straight as you come halfway to the floor. <coughs> Elbows, knees, and spine. <coughs> Excuse me. Stretch it out. And then drop into ragdoll. Just take a moment, getting everything really relaxed. Pull your hands behind your legs. Deepen that stretch on the back of your body if you like it. And then arms back to the center. And one more roll up, knees slightly bent, ribs lifting, sitting bones dropping, shoulders coming back and down, all the way back up into mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment, feel the stimulation through your spine and your entire body. Take a moment and breathe, and bring the arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Stretch up through the fingertips, but with the shoulder, shoulder blades and sitting bones going down, crown reaching toward your hands. And we're gonna bend our knees toward the toes, coming into squatting chair pose. Sitting bones going back as if you're sitting on a chair, arms staying right by your ears, and just deepen into that squat as far as you'd like to go. Get the weight into the base of the toes, balls of the foot area, and the heels as much evenly as you can, keeping that whole body stretching out through the whole spine. And then lead with your fingertips and come on back all the way up into extended mountain. Palms out, shoulder level, and back to your sides. Circle the shoulders a couple of times, get everything releasing. Crown toward the ceiling. Let's stretch the spine apart and windmill just gently one side to the other, getting that back a little bit more released. Exhale any tension, relax the shoulders. And just come back to the center. Focus on that core right there at the solar plexus. So between your bottom ribs, beneath the sternum above the navel, right there at the midsection. We're going to slide the hands down toward the knees, position don't support, and then we're going to pull those ribs in at the solar plexus and then push them out. So kind of like the pelvic tilt, but not moving your pelvis as much. So just focusing on the core, moving it in and out. Suck it in, push it out. Breathe with it. Inhale and exhale. And release, coming again back up into mountain pose. Just feel a little more energy there at the midsection, warming that solar plexus area where you energize and empower your life. And crown to the ceiling, toes spreading, hands at your heart. Inhale, follow the hands up and thumbs to the back, looking at them as you lift your heart. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot on over, drop into ragdoll. Take a moment there, just lifting your sitting bones, stretching the back of your legs. And slide the hands up under the knees, halfway up stretch, elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then again, dropping into ragdoll, tuck your chin slightly, sitting bones go down, the ribs lift as you wind all the way to the top into mountain pose. 
Again, as you reach mountain pose, just take a moment feeling that stability in your feet as we do our balance warm-up practice. Lift your toes, get the ball of the foot area really connected, base of the toes there. Spreading the toes out as you put them back down. No gripping. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. That core activated. So ribs toward your spine and up, keeping that core supporting your lower back. Crown to the ceiling, stabilize over the foot and bring your other foot up. Don't cross it over, so roll it in a little at the thigh if you need to, to make sure that foot is not going to the opposite side. When you get it as high as you want, whoops, I'm not so balanced this morning, circle your ankle and circle it the other way. Keep those feet flexible. And flex and point, straighten that ankle out as you put it back down. Shift to the other side and get everything stable, aligned, activated, and balanced. Shoulders back and down as you get ready to lift the other foot. Keep the toes spreading. Remember, no gripping. That keeps you less support. And again, coming up as far as that knee wants to go. Circle your ankle around. You think things flexible so that we don't get stiff ankles and fall. And flexing and pointing, bring that foot back to the mat. Sitting bones down, hips open, core activated, shoulders relaxed, mountain pose. Just feel your body grounded on both sides. Inhale your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your Head, look at them, bring those thumbs back, another back bend, and swan dive forward, arms parallel to the floor as you come halfway down. Stretch it out and drop into red dog. Another halfway up stretch, shoulder blades toward your waist, sitting bones pushing back with the crown forward. And then bend your knees, come all the way to the floor into child's pose. Hips back on your heels and hands, palms up next to your feet. Let those shoulders roll forward as your head comes down toward the floor in front. Take a breath. Just relax. Feel that stretch on your spine. And then inhale. Bring your hands out in front. Slide forward. Bring your feet back. Roll your body onto the floor. Bring your elbows into your side, hands palms down near your head, forehead on the floor. Tuck your toes under onto the ball of the foot area, base of the toes. And then we're going to push up into a forearm plank. So really activate that core, lift with that solar plexus, and get up into as straight a line from your heels, knees, hips, and shoulders as you can. Bend a little at the hips and push up a little more there if you're sagging in the lower back. Take a breath, stretch out through your heels and your head. Take a breath and lower your body. Hands under your shoulders and push up and back into child's pose. Take a moment there, <clears throat> breathe and relax. Tension up. And then again, bringing your hands to the front, coming up, hands and knees just briefly. So knees under your hips and bring your elbows where your hands were, right under your shoulders, palms sliding forward and palms down to the floor. So we're going to do our puppy. So keep your hips up in the air, sitting those up in the air, that's the puppy tail. And then slide your chest forward toward your hands. You can bring your chest down to the floor if you think that works better for you. Forearms, hands supporting you. And knees and feet straight back from them. And just wag your puppy tail around as much as you'd like to do today. Breathe with it. Chest expanding down toward the floor. So don't push your chin too far forward. Remember, you want the back of your neck to be stretching. And just be that playful puppy. And then push back 
And again, bring your hips down to your heels. Keep those arms extended out in front and let your shoulders just relax down toward the floor. Take a breath. And then move into child's pose, hands next to your feet, forehead all the way down. And you can separate your knees and just relax, or you can bring your knees toward each other and let that lower back get a little extra stretch. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then on an inhalation, sit up and slide off, bringing your feet up to the front into staff position. Sitting bones slightly behind you, giving you a good base of support, press out through your heels, toes up, feet hip width apart, shoulders back and down. That core, remember, is activated, crown up toward the ceiling. <clears throat> So rolling at the top of the thighs to keep the knees straight up as you bring your heels in toward your sitting bones. So the knees stay straight up, the feet are flat on the floor, and you're still straight up through the upper body with that core supporting you. We're gonna work the core a little bit, yeah. So focus on that solar plexus between your ribs above your navel, below the sternum, right there in that middle soft spot. Activate it, so make it a little bit Tensor tighter and lean back slightly. Stay on your sitting bones. Don't go all the way on your sacrum or you'll lose your balance. And just feel that core working a little bit more to support you. So you're leaning just slightly back, spine as straight as you can make it, and shoulders relaxing down. You can bring your hands near your knees, palms up, just to keep those shoulders relaxed and in their appropriate place. And then we're going to work that a little bit more. So stay on your sitting bones, not your back of your body. And we're going to lift one foot just a little. If that's working for you and it's not too bad in your hip flexor right at the top of the thigh, you can straighten that foot parallel to the floor or straighten the leg totally with that whole leg going ankle, knee, hip in line. Shoulders are down, sitting bones are supporting you, and that core, maybe you'll start vibrating a little as it works, that's okay. But if it gets too much, just put your foot back down. Shoulders down, crown reaching away, sink into those sitting bones, feel your body working. Breathe. Remember, you can use that back of the throat breath. <sighs> to give you a little more awareness of the breath rather than focusing on whatever else is going on. Okay, put the foot down if you haven't already. You can sit up and take a break, letting those hips get a little release, the core get a little release wherever you were feeling it. And don't forget, keep breathing. And of course, you know, yes, we're going to do the other side, getting that core working once more. So, knees straight up. Remember, if you have to roll in at the top of the thigh to keep it, you don't want your legs spreading apart. It makes it much less activated through the whole lower body to help you. Core activated with those ribs in and up, feeling that midsection abdominal area working to support you as you lean slightly back on your sitting bones, not your lower back. Shoulder, shoulder, legs down. You can keep those hands, palms up just to make sure that you're keeping aware that those shoulders are hunching. Other foot up. So a little, a little more, or straight. Again, do what's right for you. Oh, if that hip flexor starts really activating at the top of the thigh and you're saying, oh, that doesn't feel so good, you can lower the leg or you can bring the foot back into one of those other positions. So breathe out through the crown, down through the sitting bones, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist as always. And reach out through the base of the toes. Take a breath and feel what's going on for you. See if you can keep those thighs parallel to each other as you extend that leg straight or not. And of course, if it starts vibrating more than you want it to or in the hip flexor more than you want, lower the leg or put the foot back on the floor. Otherwise, once more, reach out through the foot and the head and sink into those sitting bones and then slowly bring the foot down. And again, you can sit up releasing things or you can stay there with that core activated if you're loving it. And yes, we're going to do both feet together. It's more intense 
So do what's right for you. You can always keep those feet just barely off the floor, just feeling that core working a little bit, or you can raise them higher, or you can extend them straight out. Or secret to taking it out of those hip joints is to hold your toes and give them a little support in those hips. So your choice. Knees straight up. Make sure those feet are nice and flat on the floor. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, crown reaching away. Core activated as you lean just slightly back and feel the work. If that's enough, stay there. Personal practice. Put your feet up, parallel, all the way out, or hold your toes. And again, work that core, making sure that it's supporting your spine and doing what's right for you. So breathe, reach out through your head, reach out through your feet, reach out through your hands, relax those shoulders down, feel the core working. If it's vibrating, remember you can go lower or back to the floor or wherever you need to, or hold the feet. And again, when you're ready to release, bring the feet to the floor, slide them out this time, relax those hip joints and that belly, and just relax. Inhale, sitting up. And again, reactivate that core a little bit more and bring your feet to the end of the mat. So once more, core activated, spine nice and stretched open, sitting bones right slightly behind you. Keep that core working as you slowly lower to the mat. So pause halfway, see if it's working, supporting you. Make sure that that's what's doing what it needs to do as you go all the way down. Shoulders to the mat, hands, palms up, relax, relax the shoulders down. Okay, give the belly just a little softening now for a little break. Take a moment and breathe. Tension out. Shoulders down, bring your arms to T position. Sitting bones toward your heels and bend your knees, feet on the floor, knees straight up. Press the back down, bring the feet up off the floor just a little bit, and then straighten the shins parallel to the floor, and then bring both feet all the way up to the ceiling, and flex the heels, toes pulling back toward your head. Take a moment there, just feeling your body. Turn the hands, palms down, get those shoulders connecting into the mat. Feel that core activate as you support your body and those legs up toward the ceiling as straight as they'll go. And then keeping the legs next to each other, we're gonna roll them over to one side as you turn your head and look toward the other way, pendulum twist. So press out through the heels, bring them close to, but not all the way to the floor. You can go all the way if you have to. And just feel that lower back in the twist as much as you want. They can be up in the air, that's okay. Just go wherever is appropriate for you. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, give you some upper body, middle back support, and head turning for your neck area twist. Take a breath. And then on an inhalation, bring those feet back straight up to the ceiling as much as you can, pressing out through your heels. Keep that core activated. Keep that back pressing gently down, shoulders into the floor, hands, palms down for more support, and roll the feet hip level to the opposite side. And again, just hover over the floor as you turn your head and look toward the opposite shoulder. Push out through the heels and just work into that position as much as your body is willing to do. It can be feet as far toward the floor as they want. They can go all the way if you need a little break or just really stay mostly up in the air if that's where you're more effective. Keep the shoulders down for that middle back support and twist and head turning for your neck area. Remember, personal practice, always do what's right for you. And if you need to on the way back up, you can bend the knees, of course, if the legs staying straight. Feels like it's more than you need, but go ahead, bring those feet back straight up toward the ceiling. Heels flexed and shoulders and shoulder blades down. Take one leg slowly toward the floor. Keep that heel pressing out, legs straight. Just hover above the floor for a moment, breathing with it. Use your core for support as you bring that leg straight back up toward the ceiling and take the other one down. 
So pressing out through the heels throughout, using that core for support as you bring that foot over the floor, hovering just slightly above it, and then bringing that leg back up toward the ceiling. Press into both feet, out through the heels, toes pulling back, legs as straight as feels good for you. Get those palms down, shoulders down for support because we're gonna, yeah, do both legs together. And again, pushing out through the heels, slowly lower those legs as hovering over the floor as you can for a moment until you need to release them all the way down. Bring your hands, palms up next to your sides, shoulders and shoulder blades down, coming into corpse position, softening that belly, totally relaxing it, and allowing your breath to deepen and your body to sink into corpse position for our relaxation. Release the legs, let that hip joint area relax a little. It tends to work with that belly area in your abs as we're working in that core area. Shoulders, shoulder blades down toward the floor, hands, palms up, feel that heart open. Move your chin and jaw around, just letting your whole head release any tension anywhere in your face or your throat or your neck. And as you relax completely, just feel your body growing heavier, sinking deeper into that earth embrace and let your body go. As you release awareness of your body, just let any thoughts come to your mind, release as well. Remember, it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just allow those thoughts to disappear without attention. You don't need to think of the thoughts any more than you think of your breath, flowing in and out without awareness. And just let the thoughts go, let your body sink, let your mind drift, and let your awareness turn inward to that peace deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind, let it go. And just allow the awareness of the peace to fill your body, filling your mind, filling your entire being, allowing yourself to be peace. Give yourself the opportunity to keep relaxing if you have a little more time today. But it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you begin to breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body however feels good for you this morning or afternoon or whenever you're doing this. Breathing, stretching more fully and completely as you breathe more deeply. And whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, back present gently down, draw your heels up toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative hug for the yoga you've done today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling over to the side, and sitting back up. And getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.